Alright, well, it's been a while, and it's not that I have been debating what I was going to do, I just haven't recorded any of it, mostly because I haven't found myself time to do it, I haven't given myself time to do it, not that I don't have the time, uh, basically, I'm lazy, <laughs> um, but here we are, um, I do have a planned conquest for today. And that planned conquest is, no, not Germany in 1939, um, Greece in 1939. This kind of spread out because I was, I had, I had a friend over, and then my brother, who also coincidentally plays this game, uh, he got, uh, so... We decided to do a challenge where we just played Greece 1939, and it, this wasn't my idea, but we just went with it. And the, the person who, it was the challenge was who could stay alive the longest or who could finish the fastest. Um, and out of this, my friend was like, "You should just record this," because I hadn't. At that point, it had only been like a couple days since I had posted something, and I was like, "Yeah, why not? I should record this." And then I just never did. Um, but the thought was there. I went to... Yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna record it now. Uh, I... The Germany 1939 was a little experiment. I was doing, um, I was doing some comparisons between Germany 1939 and Germany 1943. Oh, boy. Alright, cool. We can put you in the city one turn. Oh, why do you suck so much? I need to get artillery up there. That is going nowhere. He's not a bad general, but he just has no health in this game. And it's stupid, because infantry generals need health. If you have an infantry general, make sure he has health with him, because you're going to tank a lot of damage from artillery and tanks. And for the matter of fact, you also tank a lot of damage to infantry. So if you're going to play with infantry generals in this game, which I don't, if you, as you can see, I don't have a single infantry general here. I used to. Um, please make sure they have health. They're not bad. They're really good for campaigns until you get to the aliens, because then the aliens just mow them down. And that's, I think, where I changed my philosophy and strategy when it comes to this game. I changed it at that point that I started fighting the aliens. I was like... Yeah, this is going nowhere. I'm I'm not succeeding at all with this. And so I changed how I play the game. Um, yep, Yugoslavia is defeated. But, like I said, infantry generals are fine. They're fine to play with. I just prefer artillery and tank because they hit a lot harder. I feel like you get more for them than you would... Just using the infantry general. Because infantry generals, they can do a lot of damage, but they also die really fast. Like, look at him, he's already down to 56 health. And I said he's not a horrible general, he's a lot better if you sit him in a city like he's supposed to, which is not what I'm doing right now. But, I mean. We should have Sophia the next day. Or the next week. I don't know if you call these weeks or days or if you literally just call them turns. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna put you in Sophia. I'm gonna make a gutsy play that I know I'm not gonna hold the city. Because they're going to turn back around and screw me. But I'm gonna send you back. My idea here is to take pressure off of Konev, because as you can see, his health is not doing the best right now. And Zuka, that's why I put Zuka in the city. Um, and then next turn I recruit Gobra. Just get all my artillery generals down. Get that going. Get that train moving. Britain's gonna step into that port with the generals. That's what they always do. <coughs> Yeah, I wasn't expecting to hold the city. The point was I take pressure off of Konev, and that's exactly what happened. I want to attack that guy. But I'm not sure how I want to go about doing that, so I'm just going to step straight back. 
the Zuka's, yeah, this is Zuka's gonna hammer you. And then I can put down. Go for off. There we go. And actually, I'm gonna take this. This heat that destroy it down a bit farther. Even though if it attacked, it was dead. I mean, like. I was kind of hoping I could straight up kill it. Because it destroys to do a lot of damage to cities, but I was off by, what, like, three points of health. It should be dead this turn. If they attack, they're dead. Yeah, they attacked. And now we play the game of, ooh. Conan. I still don't know how I want to feel about Conan. Like, okay, technically I kind of have an infantry general, but I always put him on artillery because he's really good. Level 2 anti-armor is a really good perk. Um, because enemy tank units do have a lot of health, so if you want to take them down quickly, uh, anti-armor is definitely a great perk to have. Level 2 is kind of sad for it and then here's the here's the good part about Konev as an artillery general is artillery leader level four and artillery barrage level three so those are very nice perks and this one's especially useful because i always find Konev for some reason it's always Konev his health is always below um 50 percent or whatever this is 50 i don't know his health is always below that so um I always tend to find that perk getting activated a lot. So that's nice that he has it. But then here's the problem. Level 2 Bayonet Charge and Level 3 Raider. Now these are two very good infantry perks. And he's 4 stars on infantry. But I always play him as artillery. So those perks kind of suck. But it's whatever. That's just my observation of him. Like I said, I don't quite know what to make of him. Zhukov is the same. Actually... Zukov and Konev are very similar to each other. Um, I'll show you Zukov when this gets going here. <clears throat> That's not Zukov. Zukov is 5 stars on infantry and 5 stars on artillery. So he's got level 4 infantry leader. Great infantry perk, but it's not for artillery. Level 4 artillery barrage, great artillery perk. Level 4, Ace Forces. Ace Forces isn't really a perk I like. It just means you your troops gain more experience, which means they do fight better. And you can see he's already a star. And each time you, you get leveled up, you gain health, which is really nice. And you need to retreat to a city. Eliminates of the Italian fleet. Really, right now, Zhukov is just in this area. So that star right there, these three levels up, this two. When he levels up, he will get up to three. Um, those are all. I'm going to lose Kona if I best. That is all um, experience. So Ace Forces just means that he levels up faster. I, it's not a bad perk. It's definitely not the most useful one though. There are way more useful perks to have than that perk. This is what I'm talking about when I say the, the, the wave of generals that come at you. Because look at this. This is ridiculous. I also want to make sure I have anti-air on that. Kill you right away. One less thing for Zukov to worry about. Um, Belgrade is going to be mine very soon, hopefully, if I can handle the wave of generals that is about to slam into me. This is the problem. I don't like putting my tank generals on tanks. When I mean that, I mean the basic unit tank. Because the levels of armor in this game are armored car, tank, which is what Monte is on there. Um, Montgomery, or just Monte. Um, that's what he is on there. Uh, that's just a regular tank. I really don't like putting my generals on that. They're not as combat effective as heavy tanks. And I can get heavy tanks in Rome. So the problem is, I can't, I'm not, like, I can, but I'm not going to put down my tank generals. 
And other than my tank generals, I really don't have any other generals in my town. That's the nice thing about infantry generals. They're good if you need a really quick push. Um, <laughs> like, infantry generals are really nice if you just need a quick push to take something. Because they'll do it. They'll probably die in the process, but they're really nice for, like, an early game. You need to get moving. You can almost always put down your infantry general on a commando. Or, in the very minimum, a motorized infantry, which is also really good. Um, so that's the really nice thing about infantry generals. But the problem is they just tank so much damage to everything else around them. See, okay, so there, Konyev leveled up and he gained health. Um, that's basically how this game works. Yeah, just... This is why you get artillery, because it just absolutely wrecks. Um, it's in the herd of generals here. That's that's. This is one of the reasons why one-star countries take so long. It's not only the fact that you don't have an economy, which means you can't take stuff as fast. It just takes you longer to build up money. That's one of the reasons why... It, one star countries take so long or can take so long the other reason is um just quite simply jesus got wrecked right there um the lack of being able to build good units for your generals your generals are your main push and like you can't build rocket artillery or heavy tanks that is to be fair this is just a preference um you can obviously put your tank generals on regular tanks it's fine it's not something i prefer to do which is why for me it can take a bit longer if i just put my tank generals down yeah i get moving really quickly but i prefer my tank generals to, to like really be part of the push but here's my problem with that is by the time i take rome i have belgrade vienna budapest this city maybe even bucharest depends on what the soviets do I get a lot of economy by the time I take Rome. This is going to be different, though, because France is taking down Rome. But normally, I have a lot of economy built up because I've taken all this stuff first. That's just the way the, the game ends up playing, which means by the time I put down um, my tank generals, I'm already at the point where air power is taking them down. So that's my biggest problem with how I play the game is... By the time I get to the point where I'm ready to put down my generals, there's nothing to be put down. Right. You might notice a bit of a difference here. I didn't realize that I didn't have game audio on until now, so um, that was an oopsie on my part. Okay. I was kind of hoping I could snag Rome from France. But Italy did the right thing. They put a general in there instead of that crapper unit that was going to die. So I'm going to need to save up money is basically what I'm doing here. Um, dang, China got into Bangkok. That is, uh, and then they left. That is actually surprising. Um... Get out of here with that nonsense. So I love my artillery generals. They hit hard. <gasps> oh, I can just snag roll. Nice. I'll get to my tank generals a lot sooner. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, France and Italy for being dumb. That was a combination of Italy being dumb and France being not horrible at war. Oh, another artillery general. That's exactly what I wanted to see down here. Um, I really have nothing else to do than just whack him. Alright, Tank General. Come on down, it's your turn. Manstein goes first. Eisenhower's the next turn. And Eisenhower's air power, so I don't know how long I'm going to just sit him in his city, but... You holding on there, Zuka? This is why I like Zhukov, is his marshal. Um, that's my favorite part about Zhukov, is he, the marshal gives him maximum health, which means he can just take damage. Because Konyev, I have Konyev as a general, which means he could have an extra 50 health on him. Um, 
and you have even less health. But Nanstein's also a marshal. So 430 is the maximum health you're supposed to be able to have on a heavy tank. Now, obviously, this isn't true. If we go and look at a campaign, we're going to see it's a bit different. Some of those generals have way more than 430 health. Because that's just... The, you, that's how the game makes it harder. The generals have more health. You, The cities have more health. You know, it should take you longer to do stuff. And sometimes it just doesn't. I'd say this Greece campaign is going pretty well so far. Um, like I said, as Yugoslavia, thinning the herd is even faster. Um, just because you're more at the point of attack. Screw you. Ha ha, he tried to duel with Konev and you just got wrecked. Or not, sorry, Govorov. I am so sorry, Govorov. You are equally as good of a general as Konev. Oh, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. That tank arch general attacked me. I'm assuming the fans have maybe pounded him first. But he attacked me, and he just got absolutely destroyed. All right. We'll just start taking down that city there. And Yamamoto, I think I normally put on artillery. I know, I have two naval generals, and I don't play them as naval generals. Because for me, navy isn't that big of a deal. Damn, France is Paris? Oh, that's right, because Germany sent everything after me, that's right. Um, for me, naval isn't, uh, naval generals aren't big because I just don't, I just don't use them. Because they're so slow. Yeah, you can have three speed on the battleship. But Manchang, you have to four tiles on a tank. And Konev and Zhukov, if they're on rocket artillery, can easily go three squares. Now, obviously, they're on that artillery, so they only go two. But the point is, for naval generals have to follow a specific route because they're in the water. Land generals can go anywhere, including water. And they do get a severe bo uh Not a bonus. A nerf. They do get, like debuffed when they're in water, like, we got serious, I can't think of what the word is supposed to be, but, um, there's drawbacks, but then this is, that's what this perk is for, 12 additional damage when the army units march into the ocean, so that perk is supposed to counteract the loss of attack you get when you go into the water, then, yeah, so, uh, that's great, good stuff. Absolutely right. Let's see here. I don't think I'll be able to take the city this turn. That 100 damage makes things promising. And that's what you get, Manstein. Absolutely destroyed that thing. Holy crap. Instead of chance. Nice. So the ion cannon is for Mine isn't leveled up fully. I'm working on that. Bucharest. I would like to donate some fighter power to you. And this is why you get a five star air general. Some good damage. And you don't normally get that much damage. I'm gonna leave you in Rome because I don't have the money to buy a unit to put back in Rome. And that's just because I'm doing so much here. Um, the other things. And my economy really hasn't built yet. That's fine. This game. Although, it's, this is probably one my favorite easy tech game, um, but it's just, it's, it's a lot faster than other games. Like, World Conquer 4, I feel like that game is longer. I don't know if that's actually true or not. It feels longer to me. Um, it probably isn't, but it just feels a lot longer. And then, um... Easy Tech's other game that I really actually play is European War 4. That game also feel that game's really actually that one's really long because of the way the the mechanics work. Um, obviously there's no air, there's no airplanes back then, so there's no air power to quickly take stuff. 
and to spam an army. So that that's why that game that's the main reason that game takes so long. Is because you can't spam everything. Um Because air power is the key reason that makes this game go by so fast is you can just BBU BBU use your fighter or use bomber and just take everything down and that's why air power is so nice in this game. Um I'm gonna leave this episode off here. We have Rome. We have the Balkans under control. We're going to start pushing into Germany. Actually Manstein's already pushing into Germany. He's just going right for it. Um, it's gonna be a good time. Germany is definitely expanding. Screw that. They don't have Leningrad though, so that's nice. Um, Russia. Alright, so, um, this campaign's gonna be another probably five, maybe more episodes, we'll see. Um, and then I'll see what I'll do after that. I don't know, we'll see. Um, if I get a good Rainbow Six clip, I'll probably upload it. Um, other than that, stay tuned. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please uh, watch more. Um, check out the other videos. Uh, I mean, you can subscribe if you want. <laughs> I don't care at all. <laughs>